This week on the Street of Dreams, the market started out with a triple whammy. Meta took it on the tin. The GDP report was stagflationary, and bond yields rose to a five-month high. Only to finish the week strong with the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ posting their best week since November. The markets rallied on Friday on strong earnings from large tech companies and on the news that the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation indicator, the PCED, that's the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, came in only slightly higher than expected. On the week, the S&P popped 2.7%, the snap a three-week losing streak, while the NASDAQ gained 4.2% for its positive first positive week in five. The Dow only edged up seven-tenths of 1%. Now, the busy earnings season continues next week. While the Federal Reserve's next rate decision is due out Wednesday, with the expectation they will continue to take a wait-and-see approach to interest rates. Now, with this week's wild volatility, I recommend we all go back and reread Dr. Jeremy Siegel, the Wharton Economist's most impactful book, Stocks for the Long Run. It was actually published 30 years ago this week. Although much has happened, many things have changed over those 30 years. But what hasn't changed are his investment principles that I can only describe as common sense. He first tells us all to go long. Despite the potential for significant short-term fluctuations, stock prices consistently exhibit a positive trend in their long-term performance. Over decades, over 200 years of his research, he found that stocks have reliably outperformed inflation and other asset classes, yielding investors substantial real returns. As time horizon lengthens, the influence of short-term volatility decreases, and the long-term benefits of stocks becomes more evident. His second bit of advice, keep your emotions in check. Establish clear rules for your portfolio. While there may be temptations to buy during bullish periods and sell during bearish phases when emotions run high, it is crucial to resist these impulses. The temptation to monitor your investment portfolio daily can prompt emotional decision-making. Instead, Consider checking your portfolio occasionally to ensure that you're on course to achieve your long-term goals. The optimal solution is to create an investment plan, detailing your investment goals, your time horizon, and more importantly, your risk tolerance. This approach will spare you the distress and the pitfalls of excessively churning your own account. Just avoid emotional investing and make rational decisions that align with your personal financial goals. You know, like I said, common sense. 